This is the Fozzie LC30. This one was originally a Kickstarter campaign. And well, now obviously it's real life. You can get this one on Amazon or direct from the Fozzie website. It's a well-built little black box, nice finish on it. And not that this is a sign of quality, but it can be in some cases, significant weight to it. On the front, you're obviously met with the two VU meters in this vintage yellow gold type color. And front and center for controls, you get the sensitivity adjustment. Many get confused here and expect volume control, but you're not gonna get that on a product like this. All volume will be handled outside of the unit at the amplifier in this case. A note on the sensitivity adjustment, it feels like we're missing a lot of sensitivity here. At the max sensitivity, you can get a pretty lively needle activity, but it does require what I would call significant volume. Certainly not low level listening friendly if you're looking for a lot of needle movement. At casual listening volumes, don't expect a lot of swing here. And that was a bit disappointing and something that I needed to note for those shopping for this one for the purpose of primarily adding meters into their listening experience. Just scrolling through the news, you can find endless examples of data breaches on various levels and scales. Personal, large scale consumer, medical, tech, stories like this are not a trend. This has been going on for years and really there's no end in sight, which for one makes it really important for you to practice safe browsing. And two, it offers a lot of opportunities for those looking to get into the cybersecurity field. With today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University, and their online cybersecurity program, they can teach you to defend against cyber attacks and protect an organization's data. Just a few notes on the program. You'll learn about network, application, and incident security, as well as the investigation protocols. You'll get hands-on experience in cyber labs and have the opportunity to participate in the National Cyber League competitions. SNHU cybersecurity program has also been designated by the National Center of Academic Excellence in cybersecurity by the NSA. And of course, you'll be taught by faculty with actual real world experience. One of the few opportunities to connect with people within the industry. I myself work in IT and I personally believe there isn't a better time to start a career in cybersecurity. Right now, the expected growth rate is 32% by 2032. So even if you're not interested, possibly school years are behind you, Pass the word to your kids or even your grandkids on a field that looks very promising in the future. Go to https colon slash slash snhu.edu slash Matt also linked in my description to see if you might qualify for the program today. You might be eligible for financial aid or even have previous credits that could fast track your degree. Click on the link to get started. Now back to the video. Good news for those looking to bring this into their system for switching capabilities. No issues there in functionality, even a solid little remote. The remaining buttons on the front are for switching between the amps and speakers, and the middle button is for powering on and off the unit, as well as controlling the brightness. You can completely turn off the lights to the meters if you're concerned about adding any distracting lights into your space as well. So getting into how I would use this one. First and foremost on this one, the primary use case is gonna be as a switch, since the VU meters can be a bit limited. My favorite use case for this one would be to bring it into your hybrid home theater two channel space. A lot of people don't have room for a separate listening space and this can give you the best of both worlds. Have your home theater receiver as well as something like an integrated amp or heck any of the budget finds that I often cover on this channel and have the ability to change what you're listening to on the fly. You can let the receiver handle all of your TV and movie duties and then switch over to amp two with the remote or on the buttons on the front and take advantage of products that are more capable in the two channel department. And if you wanna have two sets of speakers as well, that's fine too. Maybe you have something you prefer for movies, a great dialogue speaker, shining details, that kind of thing, but it's just not your thing for music. Bring in an additional set for music if you have the space and let it rip. One other usability note that I need to make with this one, the unit cannot be operated passively. If the switch is off, nothing will pass through it. And that's not really my preference here. I would have preferred to just turn this on kind of as desired when I wanted to see it in action or make a change. At the very least though, you can turn off the VU meter backlighting, which will leave you with just a couple lights in the front that show which amp speaker is selected. Another good use case would be combining vintage and modern. There's without a doubt a different sound and well, just vibe listening to vintage equipment. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on some well cared for pieces, it can be a lot of fun to bring things like this into your listening space, but at the same time, might not be something you wanna to listen to all the time for various reasons. It might be something you use just for vinyl and all your streaming is handled on modern units, something like that. I mean, there's really a bunch of possibilities. With a simple switch like this, you could have both of these living in the same space and within seconds have the ability to bring in some of the vintage goodies that may not get pulled into the rotation as often. That's more myself, but 
You may be the complete opposite, running that vintage receiver day in, day out, and just want the ability to play around with some of the new budget gear or share a set of speakers with your home theater receiver. So many use cases for something like this. I mentioned this one has a remote and it's actually one of the best parts. I have a simple little switch that I use for A being speakers, and the biggest gripe is always that I don't have a remote. I just wanna sit in a single listening position and be able to swap without all the hassle. This does that with this little remote that is simple, but has everything I need. Power on and off, which like I mentioned is important on this one since it's required to be on to pass sound through. On the selection wheel, we have one, two, A and B for switching between the amps and speakers. And actually another couple buttons with the same functions, speaker and amp. These just switch between components just like you would expect. And then wrapping up, we have the dimming controls. The round button with the sun just turns on and off the display. And the plus minus allows you to switch between the various dimming levels. Now onto just some quick points and considerations to cover. If you're shopping something like this, and this is based on other comments from prior reviews of similar products. The power handling is stated to be 250 watts per channel. That's gonna cover the vast majority of users. Not everyone, but if you're above 250, I guess take caution. Not positive what will happen there, but I know some of the other models ran into issues where the needles were hanging as they approached the max wattage. If you're concerned about versatility and compatibility, you should be okay with these class A, A, B, D amps, as well as tube amplifiers. At first, this one caused me a bit of concern, but it appears they covered their bases there with the use of load resistors. There is no mic on this one. Some of these do offer a mic that gives you the option to either bring them into the audio chain directly wired in, or if you're simply using it for novelty to get the view meters, a mic that just picks up the sound without any physical connections. It's a feature that I like for these, for the user who wants to keep things to a minimum in the signal path, but still wants to bring in the view meters. And like I mentioned before, the view meters will not be very active at low volumes on this one. So keep that in mind if this is gonna be in a setting where it's gonna be really light and casual listening. Some people really wanna see these meters rip back and forth. And that just won't happen unless you bring the volume up to a pretty decent level. The view meters are also not scientific measurements. Think of this as more of a nice audio switch with some built-in nostalgia coming from the meters. The meters are fun and look great, but nothing that I'm going to assume carries you know, much accuracy. The question also came up if this would allow you to operate speakers A and B at the same time. No, in this case, it's going to be one or the other. Both at the same time would bring in additional issues and complexities. I actually like a lot about this one. It has a really good build quality and looks. Switch function's great, but my question is, why haven't they made an amp with this form factor yet? I think people would be all over something like this with a little bit more substantial size and a couple of these large meters in the front. Would give plenty of room for internals as well as inputs and outputs on the rear too. And then finally, what would I change on this one if I were in charge of a hypothetical LC30 Pro model? For one, I'd add more sensitivity adjustments so the meters can be better utilized at low volumes. I'd also allow the unit to pass sound without the switch being on. It's nice to have the option either to have this online blasting the meters or simply turning it off, keeping the shining lights to a minimum. With the view meter lights off, it's not distracting. It's just two small lights that signify the amp or speaker selected. But as this doesn't have a trigger, it's another item that you need to power on, unless you're using something like a smart plug or a power sensing power strip. Lastly, I'd add a mic as an option for the VU meters. A lot of users are very cautious about bringing in additional hardware into the loop. So that lets everyone have the fun without any concerns of added distortion. I didn't notice any negative impact during my listening, all seemed well, but it would alleviate some concerns. I won't waste too much of your time today asking for a subscription, but please like, comment, subscribe, Otherwise, the capacitors in your amp will bulge and your favorite music artist will change genres to pirate, metal, folk, polka.